All right, so the main view I want to take a look at here with that most recent fight, Patty Pimblin versus Michael Chandler, is this really good mat return. And this mat return ultimately ended in, you know, that fury of kind of punches and strikes that ultimately ended the fight. Uh, Patty looked really good, or Patty Pimblin looked really good. Much better than I think he's he's looked in a long time. A much different fighter than what we've seen in the past. But he's always been a pretty good grappler. And so what I wanted to show you is really the importance of kind of this posterior chain development and it leverages when it comes to wrestling movements, particularly with the body lock and how he returns Chandler to the mat here. So let's take our attention to the lower body. Okay, So we won't really see a ton of the ankle or maybe even the knee. But this movement right here is called triple extension. If you've ever seen somebody do like a power clean or a snatch in weightlifting, uh, this is, you'll hear this talked about a lot. So this triple extension involves plantar flexion at the ankle with muscles like the gastroc and the soleus. We've also got extension in the knee with muscles like the quadriceps and then extension of the hips with muscles like the just the glute muscle group and then the hamstrings. And this is all happening in the closed chain. So when he brings those hips forward, he's taking force from the ground and distributing it through his body, through his hips, and ultimately assisting in lifting Chandler up. Okay, so that triple extension movement is really nice and shows the importance of being able to uh, develop the posterior chain whenever you're doing your resistance training outside of the your fighting on the, or fighting or training on the mats. And then let's shift all the way up for, to the trunk and really just from the hips to the shoulders. So whenever he lifts, he's got a really nice leverage. His center, of, his center of mass is lower than Chandler's. It helps that when that triple extension helps him lift his body, he also lifts Chandler's with that grip that he's got. He also trapped the arm. And so his spine also extends in the beginning. And that the big muscle groups that go down the spine are called the erector spinae. The, these are very easy to see in someone as lean as Patty. But what he does after this is really important. So with the mat return, he does this nice triplanar movement. And what I mean by that is he's moving in all three planes. The sagittal plane going forward and backwards, the frontal plane going side to side, and then the transverse plane with rotation. So after he extends his spine and gets Chandler in the air, he's actually doing something that it doesn't seem quite intuitive if you think about it. So muscles like the quadratus lumborum and the lats and the external and internal obliques help side bend to the, to the same side that they are on. They side bend the trunk. So this looks like left side bending. So if we were to just freeze frame here, it would look like the left obliques and the quadratus lumborum and the lat are all contributing to left thoracic or thoracic thoracolumbar. So the, the difference between that is the thoracic spine is up higher and, and the lumbar spine is lower and they meet at this junction here. A lot of our movement happens there, but it looks like that these muscles will be doing the work, but it's actually not. The muscles on the opposite side that do that same motion are eccentrically contracting to control that movement. Think of like a quad, think of your quads whenever you're doing a squat. Whenever you're lowering a squat down to the ground, your, your knees are actually flexing, but your quads, which extend the knee, are doing most of that movement. So the opposite side, quadratus lumborum, the lat, like we mentioned before, uh, and then even the obliques, are particularly when he starts to rotate are heavily active here eccentrically to kind of control the weight down as he returns Chandler to the mat even though it looks like he is actively side bending to the left rotating to the left and flexing his trunk forward the muscles that are the most active here because he's controlling it down towards the ground are those big muscles of the erector spinae or the the spinal erectors and then the opposite side QL, external and internal oblique, and the lat in the trunk. This is a very good demonstration of why it's so important to be able to kind of have the access to this range of motion under load so that whenever you try and whenever this manifests in a fight or in a grappling match or something like that, you are able to do these things and your tissues are resilient enough to tolerate all of these the demands of combat sports. So really good display of just trunk control, triple extension, posterior chain development, and then obviously fight IQ from Patty. You can tell he's gotten a lot better. So really proud of the guy, and I hope, hope to see him do as well in the future.